everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica and today I have a crazy, crazy mess on my desk because once again this year I am doing all of the makeup that I am currently panning and it's a lot, it is a lot. If my voice sounds weird, um, I kind of have like this dry scratchy throat. I don't think I'm sick, but um, I do have bad allergies, so that could be what is going on with me. I swear I'm fine. I'm okay. Um, but uh, this stuff, this stuff is all over the place, and I'm going to share it with you. Most of it you've probably seen already as I introduced it into projects. I don't even know where to start. I'll start with my nail polishes and or nail stuff because um, I just did a project polish finale. And um, so I'm going to show you what I'm working on right now. The first thing is a base coat. It is the Jessica Nails Life Jacket. It, it protects active nails. It is just like a fiber base coat. So I'm working on that. Um, the Sinful Colors Cosmos. It's this really pretty blue color. I have it on my toes right now. I really enjoy the color. I don't enjoy the satin finish. You may hear my, my two youngest crazy kids there. Um, home from preschool now and a little, little loud on the decibel level here. And this one is probably my favorite that I'm painting so far is the P2 Volume Gloss Gel Look, Gel Look Polish in the color Old Maid. I got so many compliments on this when I wore it. I, I just adore this polish and it wears like a dream. It's, it's a polish, but it wears like a gel. It's amazing. I normally can get a day and a half Two days if I'm lucky. Um, two days for sure if I put like a glitter coat on it because glitter just tends to hold everything. I think I got four or five days out of this one before anything happened to it. I, I was shocked. And it's cheap. It's at Walmart. So, you know. All right. Let's get into the makeup stuff. I'm just going to start with my setting sprays to get them out of the way. I am working on two different Ulta matte setting sprays and um all right there's that primers two this this one sounds like it's empty little asmr there for you um it's aggressive asmr and um this is the covergirl true blend face primer for oily skin and this is my absolute favorite this is the catrice prime and fine it keep me matte I, i'm waiting to use this and i feel like i'm going to sneeze it's that day. It is that day. Um, all right, for foundations. For foundations, I have two liquid foundations, and that is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless for normal to oily skin. This is what I'm wearing today. This is a perfect shade match for me. Um, this is 125 Nude Beige. This, this is my winter color. Sadly, even though I really like this color and I like this formula. I won't repurchase it because it's not cruelty free. More will be coming up on that in another video, but um yeah, I really like this one. And the LA Girl Pro Matte High Definition Long Wear blah blah blah. This is in the color beige. Um and I'm also working on the Elf Mineral Foundation and this is in medium beige, I believe. All right, concealers. I've got a few of those. Um, this is depotted from the Jane Iredale palette and the Wet n Wild Photo Focus in light to medium beige. That one brand new. And the Ulta Color Correcting Liquid Concealer in Lavender. Um, powders. I only have two powders in projects right now, which is a little bit crazy to me. Um, this one is the Color Max Photochromatic Press Powder in 04 Beige. And Tinted Mineral Veil from Bare Minerals. All right, on to bronzer. This one's going to look a little crazy because I frankened it last night. Well, I took some out of this and frankened it. This is Bare Minerals Warmth. Yeah, it looks a little crazed right now. But um, it was just too dark. Too dark and too warm for me. So um, now it is in the other half of my Franken blush. You guys got used to this last year, right? Me Frankening bronzers. So I'm going to just kind of segue from bronzers right into blush. 
Both of them are Frankened inside here. So I have my Franken bronzer right here. So I need to finish this. And my Franken blush, which has like everything but the kitchen sink in it. It has these two pans, these two, and um, what was originally in here, a little bit of the blush from e.l.f. So five blushes in one. And I have two blushes. They're not empty. I swear they're not. I frankened them. Go figure. This one I had on Instagram. Um, it just busted in the pan. I went to repress it. And I, I don't like using this tiny little pan for blushes. It's just, it's too small. So I thought in my infinite, infinite wisdom, put it in a powder packaging that I had finished last year. And I'm like, well, you're only working on warms. Let's go for something cool. So I frankened the heck out of it. Yeah, that is bright and I love it. I absolutely adore this Franken blush. I'm wearing it today. So, I mean, as long as you use a light hand, it definitely does work. But that has two blushes plus some other stuff in there. And the last blush that I'm currently working on, this is from e.l.f. It's peachy keen and you can hear my daughter. I'm... I use this sometimes as a blush if I'm not, if I'm doing one of those really light makeup days where I put almost nothing on my face, I can use it as a blush because it looks like a natural kind of hue. But um, sometimes I will also use this as a light bronzer if I need to like warm up, like when I'm using my one foundation that's too light and I use that to warm it up. I like it. Highlighter. <clears throat> I'm working on two. One is not technically a highlighter, it's a multi-purpose product. This is the e.l.f. Shimmer Palette, and I have two shades in here that I'm working on. And I've been using them like a cream highlighter. It's, it's kind of a new thing for me, but I like it. And the Bare Minerals Rose Gossamer. Push that off to the side. <coughs> Pardon me. Um, I'm going to do eyes last because that's like the craziest category I have. Y'all know how I am with my eyes. Um, lip pencils. I have this. I have two of them from Buxom. I'm not even going to worry about the colors. Um, I have this one from Avon. Because this, this video is just going to be too long if I go in depth with everything. Um, this is one from e.l.f. that I really like. And this is from Bite Beauty. Um, it's a lip crayon. What that officially is, I don't know. It doesn't smell like a crayon. It doesn't work like a crayon, but it's a lip crayon. I forgot to put one of my um, lip balms in here. It is actually in my purse, but it's just a basic lip balm from Be Essential. I have the CO Bigelow, my favorite lip balm, and Big O from Buxom, which is the powerful plump lip balm. All right. <clears throat> lipstick. I'm still working on the base of this Makeup Forever Artist Rouge C211. A few buxom lip glosses. Um, and this is technically a lip topper from Urban Decay. This is one of the Vice Full Spectrum lip toppers. I use, I've use. i used it on my lip. I have not used it on my lips yet. I've only used it on my eyes, but it is technically a lip product. Brow products, I only have two in right now, and um, this is from Bare Minerals. It's like the dark blonde, dark blonde, medium brown brow powder, and this from e.l.f. Yeah, I, I got a lot here. I've got three different Lash Princess mascaras. I only have the green one open thus far. Primers, I have three. I have Pearl from e.l.f. And... Urban Decay Primer Potion, and a brand new Bare Minerals Prime Time. Uh, eyeliners. Just a few of those. Just a few. This is from the Sephora Colorista palette. Is the last gel eyeliner that I have in there. Spoiler alert. I'm not going to tell you what project that's in because um, <clears throat> then it'll, it'll ruin it. You'll remember. And <sighs> Moving on to the Starlux gem pencils. I have amethyst and ultra olive. Um, I have metallic purple elf eyeliner. 
Pacifica Gunmetal. What I'm wearing today is the Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. I can tell you without a doubt, this is not waterproof. It is a windy day. I walked outside, my eyes started to tear up a little bit and it started to run on this eye. It is not waterproof. It lies, just telling you, it lies. Um, and I have these three eyeliners from ColourPop and I love those. I love those so much. All right. So much stuff over here. Um, getting into the eyes, eyeshadows now. I think I've covered everything else. This is the Laura Mercier Caviar Stick in Rose Gold. That is just the deluxe size. <clears throat> um, I have the Elf Long Lasting Lustrous Eyeshadow, and this one is in Festivity. It's a really pretty color. I'm starting to actually use it now because, you know, everything else is over with from last year. Inner Violet Sparks from Coastal Scents. It is a mica pigment. You cannot get that anymore. And then I have a bunch of, like, empty stuff here. It has all been pressed into magnetic palette over here. So you will see it in this mess. That's why I didn't want to go into detail with that. <clears throat> Pardon me. I'm just going to show them. I'm not going to name all of them. I'm just going to show you all of the eyeshadows that I am working on. All of those. I have them in different um, magnetic palettes because some are in my basket this week and some are not. So a few in here as well. Some more here for you. I have... So much, so much. This is my A to Z minus one. It is in my basket this week. Lots and lots of eyeshadow. The Coastal Sense 88 palette. I'm only working on 12 shadows in here. I don't want to show you the progress on it, but um, yeah. So there's 12 in that one that I'm working on. There's two in the ColourPop Uh Huh Honey. I am working on one shade in here. I just updated you so I can show you that one is Lust right there from Alter Ego Temptress. And last but not least, we just started this one. This is the Gingerbread Spice from Too Faced. Yep. It's only been used twice, so no major progress. No spoilers there. That's a lot of stuff. But wait, there's more. I feel like an infomercial. Um, I, I did not put everything out on my desk because these are all in my basic um like year-long seasonal whatever like what you guys are used to but i have an entire drawer right next to me of stuff that is in my 200 makeup products that i want to finish this year but because i may put them into another project later because it's just 200 i wasn't sure if you guys would want to see them or not so i wanted to keep them separately if you don't want to see those, again, I understand. Um, I have not figured out how to do timestamps. So if someone knows how to do that and you want to put it in the comments, that's cool. Otherwise, if you don't want to see them, go ahead and just click out and do whatever you want. If you want to see the rest of the 200 that I put in, I'm going to show them to you now. I'm just going to scoot a little bit and pull out my drawer because it's all in here. I have two more of the Ulta setting sprays for lip balms and lip pencils. I have the Philosophy Ultimate Miracle Worker Fix, a topper from an old CoverGirl Outlast liquid lipstick, like one of the originals, the e.l.f. Lip Lock Pencil, another e.l.f. Lip Pencil, and a Revlon Timeliner that is like impossibly old. And I know, I know Paula will recognize it. Did I even mention that I'm doing this with Paula and Amanda? Because I probably didn't in the beginning because it's been that day. Um, next, I have more lip stuff here. I have so much stuff. So much stuff. I have um, a Lipsol Lip Balm. This is from Event Blossom. I have a Blistex Berry Medicated. Let me reach in here and get all of this stuff. These are some sample size things. And it's all, of course, right here. I have some sample lip glosses and lipsticks from Avon. 
Um, let's see. Knocking things over. Two more lip balms, one from Neutrogena, one from Avon. A Tristique mini lip glaze pencil. I guess it's a pencil. I have a whole mess over here. Four of these Tarte lip glosses. Four more Buxom lip glosses. I don't know why some are upside down and some aren't. Because, because I'm a mess. That's why. Um, the NYX Pro Foundation Mixer in white. Um, I have some nail stuff here. My goodness. I don't know why I did this to myself. I don't know why I did this to you guys. And I notice when um, I turn my head and you get the dark hair, it changes my lighting in my camera. So, um, yeah, I have two Revlon polishes. One's a top and base coat. I have two Sally Hansen glitter toppers. Um, two Essence kind of toppers, two minis from OPI, a Del Sol polish. This one is just Colorworks. It's one of those cheapy ones. Um, and a Maybelline and a Quick Dry from Jessica Nails. But wait, there's more. I have so much. I'm just kind of pulling it out in the order that it's in this drawer. I have two color correcting powders from NYX, one in lavender, one in green. Um, two mineral foundations from e.l.f. The Featherlight Mineral Veil from Bare Minerals. Bare Minerals Rose Radiance. An Ulta powder that is brand new, still has the seal on it. Um... Two more Bare Minerals things. These are both blushes. One is in Riches and the other one is Pink Diamond. Um, let's see. Got some eye stuff. Of course I have eye stuff. Why would I not have eye stuff? I'm making a mess here. Okay. Shocker of all shockers. More mascara. I have the purple and like coral red mascara here from... Essence Lash Princess. I've got to quit turning my head. <clears throat> Clinique Quick Liner. It's a black eyeliner. This is a duo. This is an e.l.f. eyeliner and shadow stick. It's purple and plum. The ColourPop Blue You Mind Volumizing Mascara. It's a blue one. I can't wait to use that. Benefit Gimme Brow in number three. That focuses... Um, let's see, I have also a pink glitter that is eye safe. Um, it, they, they used to carry, Coastal Scents used to carry glitters and different pigments and stuff like that. So that one is completely safe. Um, the Be A Bombshell Eye Base in Submissive. I love that one. Bare Minerals Blue Moon. Urban Decay Midnight Cowboy. One remaining blush from the Sephora, Sephora Colorista palette, not counting the one that I have frankened in, in uh, what I already showed you. These four eyeshadows from e.l.f. and this bunch of eyeshadows that are from God knows what. <laughs> They're from all over the place. So that is everything. It's a lot, it's a little overwhelming, but again, the ones that I showed you in the second portion is not um, in a project like a standard project that you guys are used to yet, but they do need to be done this year. So I am technically panning them um, because like I said, they're in my 200 makeup products that I want to finish this year. So to me, it is a panning project kind of, but not the same structure as another project. I hope that makes sense to you guys. So I have a big mess to clean up right now. So um, yeah, that is it. That's a lot. It's enough. It's more than enough. And, um, yeah, I, let me have it down in the comments. I know it's a lot. It is a lot. Wait till you see Amanda's cause she got a lot too. 
and Paula, you know my girl, she's got some stuff there. Paula's got a lot of makeup. I don't know how much she's painting this year. I don't know how much Amanda's painting this year or, or right now. So I'm curious to see how this all plays out. I will know when you know when you see their videos and yeah, I'm a mess. I'm a hot mess today. I really am. So go check out the girls. I will have them down in the description. I will have their gorgeous faces at the end of the video. And uh, yeah, comment down below. Let me know what your crazy mess looks like for what you're painting right now. Are you painting just a few things? Are you painting a lot of things? Inquiring minds want to know. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until I see you on my next video, have a beautiful day.